Good morning. I think our sign is all wrong. Nothing wrong with that sign. Uh, the print's too small. I just went by my Garrett's and they're signing him right and left. Uh, well, it doesn't have anything to do with the sign. Why don't you pour yourself a cup of coffee? I don't want any coffee. I want men. I have a whole fruit crop to harvest, and McGarrett and the others are signing them like they're giving something away for nothing. Uh-huh. By the way, are you questioning these people like you're getting them ready for jury duty? Jury duty? What are you talking about? Well, word is going around town that you're practically cross-examining these people. Now, look, Nicholas. You said to me, get me the right men. Now, that's what I'm trying to do, isn't that what you want? I want men. Any man who is ready, willing, and able to work, I would like to have. Now, if you see one of these, grab them, hold them, and sign them. But do me a favor, will you? What's that? But don't ask them any questions. All right, Nick. Fine. Just, just passing through. I heard Don Salinas there looking for hands up here. Oh, no, you can't believe everything you hear, Waldo. Hey, look, welcome harvest hands. Best pay, come in, sign up now. Oh, no, I've I just been in there. They all signed up, have been for days. Yeah, but those men there. Oh, poor fools, they're gonna get the same sad story I got. Yeah, but... I ought to tell him to take his sign down. I just ought to do it. I hear that there's another place right down the street that's got a couple of openings. Now, why don't you hurry on down there, Waldo, and get them before they're all taken up? I'll run back in here. I'll tell this fella, take a sign down, and I'll meet you down there. Now, go on. Go on. Hurry oh, up. Oh, thanks, Eli. Gee, thanks. You sure as well to put me under this. Thanks, Eli. Hey, what's the big idea? That man's looking for work, isn't he? That's right. You hired him, and I quit. They ain't a ranch in California big enough to hold the two of us. He looked harmless to me. Yeah? He's worse than any gunfighter you ever heard of. Because with a gunfighter, you got a chance to draw. With him, there's no way to defend yourself because you don't know when or where nor how it's coming. What's his game? His game is bad luck. He's a Joner. Last town he worked in burned down the very day after he arrived. And the last ranch he worked on, the steers got mixed in with a neighbor's sheep. They had been peace in that county for 10 years. And the day he left, there was a full-scale range war going on. Well, you don't say. Oh, Mr. McGarrett, I sure do. Everywhere he goes, there's trouble. And nobody in his right mind would work anywhere near him. And that's a fact. Uh, that's, uh, Waldo Diefen? Diefendorfer. Waldo Diefendorfer. Once you repeat it a couple of times, <clears throat> I guess it's still kind of hard to say. <laughs> yes, well, good luck, Mr. Diefendorfer. You too. Lots of it. Now, you boys stop that. Now, cut it out. One of you is going to get hurt. Now, you cut that out. Hey, now, give me that. Now, get out on home.
made this place something. You know, Penelope, this could be the start of a whole new life for us. Let's go find the foreman. Come on. Prettiest sight a cowboy ever did see. Yes, he's beautiful. Seems a shame to break him, though. Oh, don't you worry now, Miss Audra. I wasn't hired to ruin Barkley horses. I'm just gonna bend his spirit a little to yours. I don't know. Oh, I'm Waldo Diefendorf. Audra Barkley. Oh, one of the Barkleys? <laughs> Gee, I'm sure glad all the other ranches were filled and I could come here. I'm looking for the foreman. That'd be my brother. Nick! Someone to see you! Like I said, I'm sorry about that horse that ran away. I hope it wasn't my fault. How could it be? You were just passing by. Sometimes that's enough. Yeah, I don't really have. Uh, Nick, this is Mr. De Diefendorfer. How's that again? I'm Waldo Diefendorfer. I signed up in town to work here. Well, you, uh, bunk in bunkhouse number three. It's up by the house. Charles will be in 15 minutes. Three? That could be my lucky number. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure meeting you, Miss Barkley. The stable your uh, burrow in the barn. Sir, could I stake her at the bunkhouse? Penelope likes to be with me late at night, and vice versa. Ah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, suit yourself. Go ahead. I don't know. I just don't know. What? I don't know. Don't bother by me. Just go on doing what you're doing. You can dump your gear over there. Oh, thanks. Sure. His name is Hank Deemers. I'm sort of put in charge here. Glad to have you with us. Thanks. Lots of give. Nice. Yeah, the Barclays got the best beds in the valley. Chow ain't bad either. Yeah. You're lucky to sign out here. That's what I figured. I guess your blanket's out back. Oh, you don't have to bother. There's no bother. We all work together here. One big happy family. Hey, uh, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh-uh. You sure? Uh-huh. I ain't never been any place. I mean, that counts or anything. What'd you say your name was? Waldo. Your last name? Um, uh, Diefendorfer. Sounds kind of familiar. Oh, there are lots of Diefendorfers. The world's full of them. You got me mixed up with one of those. Somebody else. Could be. Tell me, Nick, how are you coming along with the harvest hen? Well, it looks like we've got a full crew, but... But what? You should know. You hired him deep and dapper. Deep and dorfer. Whatever. Brother Jared, I told you to sign on anybody. Scrape the bottom of the barrel if you had to. But come on. Deep and dorfer? Deep and dorfer. Waldo deep and dorfer. All right. All right. But does he look like a farmhand to you? Nah, Nick. What does a farmhand look like? Let's not have any courtroom tricks, lawyer man. Would someone mind letting me in on this? Well, Brother Jared here signed on, um... Uh... Deep and dorfer. 
Yeah, yeah, well, he doesn't know a peach from a ripe tomato. Now, Nick, that's cruel. Well, I should think the point is, can he do the job? Well, the odds against it. Nick, why don't you stop picking on him? He hasn't even had a chance to prove himself yet. Why don't you at least wait and see? Who knows? You may be in for the surprise of your life. Sugar. Morning. Yeah. Nice day. Yeah, sure is. I'm glad you caught that runaway horse yesterday. Strange thing. I can't figure it out. It's the first time one ever cut out on me. Just can't figure it. Ours is not the reason why. Don't you agree? I guess. All right, you man, let's go. Now, Waldo, that means you too. Come on. If it's all the same to you, Mr. Nick, I'll ride Penelope. You'll ride with the rest of us. Come on, get aboard. That's what you want, sir. Three days have gone by. It's been one thing after another. First, the transport wagon collapses. Mm, equipment wears off. That was a brand new wheel, and so was the axle brand new. And what about the next day when the ladder folded up and one of my men busted his arm? Don't tell me anything about that ladder because it happened to be brand new, too. Seemingly. What about this afternoon when the freight wagon backed up too far and crushed 20 crates of fresh-picked fruit? Amen. What is that supposed to mean? What it usually means, the end. You've had your share of mishaps, so now it'll be clear sailing. You really expect me to believe that? I do. Wonderful. Mother, do you realize how many man hours we have wasted? Do you know how much money it has cost us? And do you happen to know where that puts McGuff? McGarrett. No. He could be responsible for all this bad oh, luck. Nick. I would not put it past Nick, him. Nick, I have known Frank McGarrett for over 25 years. Then you ought to know how he operates. Oh, he's a tough competitor, but he would never do anything like that. That leaves who? Why does it have to leave anybody? Sunday afternoon. Sure is. I'm glad you rode by. If you don't mind my things. Not at all. Usually the men go into town Saturday night and stay over. Well, to tell you the truth, I kind of like to be alone sometimes. I think I know what you mean. You do? Mm -hmm. Funny. Doesn't make a difference where you are or who's around. You know what I mean? Sometimes I feel exactly the same way. Me too. Of course, that's what Penelope included. Of course. Still, it's nice to have somebody to talk to. Sometimes. Like you, I mean. There are some people who make you feel to home right away. Like the first time I saw you, Miss Audra, I walked right up to you, talked right to you. I don't usually speak to strangers. Especially the opposite sex. But I must admit, in your case, I made an exception. 
Is that the honest truth? I'm very flattered. You are? Hey, Miss Audra. Been looking for you. Remember that herd of Mustangs I was telling you about? Yes. Well, it was spotted headed north. I think they're going towards Box Canyon. Want to ride with me? Do you really think you can find them? Well, if I can, no one can. Come on, let's go. I'll see you later, Waldo. Uh-huh. Penelope, if it wasn't your day off, we'd go out after those Mustangs, too. Hey, Sid, how about lend me some of your hair tonic? I'm all out. What for? What do you think for? You ain't going no place. <laughs> oh, no? Going up to the big house tonight. Come on, you couldn't get in the back door. And if you're talking about Miss Audra... That's exactly who I'm talking about. I'm taking her to the dance on Tuesday night. <laughs> this I gotta see. You, you come to the dance on Tuesday night, you will see. Where is he? Let me at him. I know it. I felt it. Where is he? Where's who? Diefendorfer. I told you there was something fishy about him, didn't I? Oh, Hank, don't start that all over again. What about that transport wagon breaking down? And Charlie falling off that ladder? And all those crushed crates of fruit that took us hours to pick? It's all his doing. He's a jinx. Sure. Go ahead, laugh. Who's laughing? The Garrett's men are in town. They're laughing themselves sick about it. One of them palmed off deep and off around the Barclays. They know him from way back. They've given him a wide berth. Now we're stuck with him. Who knows what's going to happen next? Well, what do you aim to do? I don't know. He wants some advice? Take it straight to the Barclays. It's their crop. Nick, you're not really going to go through with this silly test. The boys in number three are not kidding. And by tomorrow morning, it's going to spread to the other bunkhouses, and nobody's going to get even near this Waldo. Oh, he's just down to Modesto, and I've got this whole ranch to run all by myself. I've got crops to harvest, and I'm not taking any chances. The little test goes on. Nick, the whole thing is ridiculous. I will not let superstition run this ranch. Waldo wouldn't hurt a fly. Talk all you want, it doesn't change a thing. I happen to know there are real live Jonas. Now, don't ask me why. I don't know. It just, it's just the way it is. Now, listen, sis. People like Waldo, they, well, they don't mean to hurt anybody. It's just that, well, calamity seems to follow him around like a hungry hound dog. And I am going to prove that Waldo Diefendorfer is a born loser. I'll get it. Come in, Waldo, please. Oh, my God! Oh. I nearly broke it. Somebody must have moved it. it. It was in the way. Oh, I don't know. Nice place you got here. Big, too. What is it your brother, Mr. Nick, wants to see me about? Well, actually, the whole family's in there. They all want to see me? Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you know? What's it all about? Well, it's a game, sort of. Oh. You know my brothers, Nick and Jared. Mr. Nick and Mr. Jared. And this is my mother. How do you do, Mr. Diefendorfer? Mrs. Barkley, it's a real pleasure, also an honor. Well, thank you, Mr. Dee. Friends call me Waldo. Bosses, too. Uh, Waldo, will you sit down here and join us for a minute, eh? Oh, yes, sir. What a cut for a high card. Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I never gamble. <laughs> well, there's no money involved. Then what? Waldo, remember I mentioned a game? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll cut first. <laughs> A three. Your turn, Waldo. Yes, ma'am. A deuce. All right, let's try it again. Now, this time you cut first, Waldo. But... It's all right, just cut. A four. It isn't no 
over yet. Well, it is now. Read it and weep. All right, once more. Never tempt fate, Brother Jared. A king! Oh, Waldo, that's wonderful! It is? Well, now we look here at what I drew. Looks to me to be an ace. Enough. I still say it doesn't prove a thing. Thank you, Walter. Thank you very much for cooperating. That's the game? That's all? That's all. Well, would you like some coffee? Or some cookies? Well, gee, thanks. But I gotta get up early. A man can't be tired and do a full day's work. Bosses might complain. Night, everybody. Night, Miss Audra. Now, what did that prove? Three cuts of the card do not amount to a run of bad luck or the stroke of doom. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a nice big piece. You better go now, Waldo. I guess I wasn't looking where I was going. I'm sorry. Night, folks. And, uh, uh, polite. Whose side are you all on, anyway? Well, just trying to be fair. What do I tell the hands out there? They want me to get Waldo off their backs. Oh, I'm not worried about that, Nick. You'll find the right words. <laughs> Give it another day or two. Ah, now, boy, Nick. After all, it can't get any worse. Who said? See you later. Take care. I can take a hint. Nobody has to hit me over the head, do they, Penelope? Now, let's see, Penelope. We've got to make some plans. First, we'll... Why does it always happen to me? What do I do that's so wrong? Oh, Miss Audra, this is a surprise. So is that. Well, I've been planning to leave. I've had the urge to move on. You know what they say, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Wait here, I'll be right back. Don't you look like something? Clay Howard loaned me his, uh, his best carriage and a horse you like. I figured a girl as beautiful as Audra Barkley should go to that dance and stuff. Don, I'm sorry I can't go. <laughs> what, what do you mean you can't go? Well, something very important has come up. Yeah, like what? It's personal and, 
And it's an emergency. It's something I just have to do. Miss Audra, it's been very nice knowing you. If there's anything I can ever do for you, don't be afraid to call on me. Of course, I never know where I'll be. Me with the wanderlust and all. You're not leaving. I can't go back in there. Even if they begged, I wouldn't let you. There's a room off the barn. You can have your privacy, and Penelope can have her own stall. Come on, I'll show you. See you later, Penelope. Waldo, what do you think of dancing? Well, I only tried it once. Once? Well, you see, I stepped on this girl's foot. Well, that happens to practically every man. Not like me. I broke her toe. <laughs> In the main house, uh, leaving you waiting at the gate? She wasn't feeling well. That's all there was to it. You sure got uh, quick cures these days. what he's got that you haven't. Waldo, <laughs> wait here. I'll be right back. I want to talk to him. Wait, let me explain. Okay, don't you cancel me. You came with him. What's to explain? It's not that simple. He was locked out of the bunkhouse tonight. So? Heaven knows how many places he's been kicked out of, how many backs have been turned on him. Someone has to show they care. Someone has to welcome him back to the human race, and I... I thought this would be one small way. I'm sorry if I hurt you. That wasn't my intention. Listen, do me one favor. Be careful of your toes. Please. Miss Audra? Yes? Remember Sunday out by the stream when I told you how much I like being by myself? Mm-hmm. Well, I gotta tell you now, there are a lot of times when I don't like it at all. To tell you the whole truth, most of the time I don't like it. Most of the times I like being someplace where it's crowded, where everybody's smiling and having a good time and liking each other, like now. To tell you the whole truth, most of the time, I'm just plain lonely. Hold on. To tell you the whole truth, so are a lot of people. Tonight, it's kind of hard to tell the winners from the losers. Yeah? Well, I guarantee you one thing. When I get through, you won't have any trouble. from Bunkhouse 3 paid me a visit. If it's about Waldo... Who else? This delegation was headed up by your friend Don Jarvis. Seems he wants to walk out and take 15 men with him. Why couldn't you have left well enough alone, Audra? Waldo's no stray dog, you know. 
Then why is he kicked around like one? Has that ever occurred to you? I'll pay him off. He won't take it. You think? He's not looking for charity. How do you know so much about this? All right, that's enough, both of you. Audra is right. Now, wait a minute. Well, so are you, in a way. So I'd say a compromise is in order. Such as? Well, it seems simple to me. Simple? The men will not work with Waldo in the orchard. We'll take him out of the orchard. And you, Audra, you say he won't accept charity. All right, we will find him a legitimate paying job. Now, there are plenty of those this time of year. I ask you, what's wrong with that? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. That's what's wrong with it. He's still on this property. This is my property, Jarvis. This is Barkley property. Have it your way. But I want him off of here and fast. You want him off, huh? That's right. Now, you better leave a little room, Mr. Barkley. Because if he's not off of here by noon tomorrow, we will be. And more will follow. Well, now, let me let you in on something. If you, or you, or you, Hank, or any one of you walk from here, I'll see to it that not one of you get one hour's work in this whole valley. Who are you trying to block? You know these men got the pick of the places around here. As a matter of fact, I've already checked with McGarrett. They got a special invite to come over to his ranch any time they want to. So you take your choice. Diefendorfer or them. Penelope, how do you like this for accommodations? Your own stall and my own room. No, it's real. It's not a dream. All the bad luck is behind us now. No more dark clouds. From now on, my fine friend, nothing but sunshine. Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. It, it never rains this time of year. It really means business this time. storm out there. I, uh, just came home to see if there was anything I could do to help. If you can stop time, fine. We got 35 minutes to deadline. Or else maybe you can figure a way to stop this rain. You mean to tell me those men out there really believe that Waldo started this storm? According to the last petition, 28 of them do, yes. Now, what you really mean is that that Jarvis fellow has got them believing it, right? I don't know what to believe now. What's this, Nick? You thinking of giving in? No, I'm just doing a lot of thinking, so. Well, while you are, think about this. You give some people an inch, Nick, and they take a mile. If I know you, you're not going to give anybody a mile, no matter what you're thinking right now, and you know it. All right, how do we win, Joe? <sighs> well, I don't know. Maybe it's more important sometimes, Nick, to, to know how to lose. Barkley. Any minute now, Barkley will be coming through the door, and that'll be the end of Waldo Diefendorfer. Wanna bet? Come here. I'd say it looks like Waldo is settling down for a long stay. 
listen to me. You can forget about those blankets Miss Audrey gave you, and you can forget everything the Barclays told you. You're getting out of here. Yeah, but... No but! You pack up your gear, you get on that mangy bar, and you ride. Now, come on, move! Let him go! Don't you know when you've had enough? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I thought you'd be doing this. What can I do? Well, first, have a better opinion of yourself. Have some faith in you. How can I, when from the day I was born, I brought bad luck? Even that day, after the doctor delivered me, he fell down the porch steps and broke his leg. That was his bad luck, not yours. I don't want to cause any trouble here. I don't believe you. That's just your excuse. The fact is, you're feeling sorry for yourself. You always have. You're not running to help anybody. You're running because you're a coward. You're not noble, and, and you're not a man. You're just a sheep leading yourself to slaughter. Why don't you for once stand your ground? Why don't you for once try a little faith? Oh, what's the use? She doesn't understand, Penelope. Come on. I can't go on like this anymore. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't want to. Besides, I can't be someone else, can I? I mean, a person is stuck with being what he is, right? But I need your help now. Nothing big or important. Just a little something. Please. Yours truly. Waldo Diefendorfer. I never expected anything this big. Especially the first time. Gee, thanks, sir. You know, Waldo, this is the best season we ever had. Me too, Hank. Look, uh, me and the boys are headed north for the Feather River. How about joining us? Sure, friend. Great. Wouldn't want to lose our good luck job. Hear that, Miss Audra? You brought me a change of luck. Change of fate. Oh, yeah. C. 
see you. See you, Waldo. Oh, here I go again. It's not what you think, Waldo. Nick's up there diamiting. We're just bringing water down from the high lake. Oh. See you. Bye. Bye.